Uh, Vietnam is a very perplexing and troublesome problem for the American people. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any dispute that uh, we made a terrible mistake by getting involved there. Now, I'm glad to see personally that Mr. Humphrey has moved away from the administration position and has advocated the, the halt of bombing of North Vietnam. And I was just wondering, sir, what is your position on Vietnam at this time? Well, I don't agree with Mr. Humphrey if that is what he says his name. <laughs> I, I want to make very clear, Mr. Stanford, that my, my position on Vietnam uh, has been probably uh, that of being one of the most persistent critics over four of the last four years of anybody in America. I have criticized the military conduct of the war. I think we've wasted our military power by using it ineffectively. I criticize particularly the fact that we have failed to recognize the administration, the true character of the war, that it's primarily a war that is not military in character. It's a war for people rather than territory. And we fail to win the people and enlist the people in it. Uh, I, I think I've also criticized, and I still criticize the administration, for failing to recognize that when you get into this kind of war, our goal must be to help them fight the war, not fight the war for them. We didn't train the South Vietnamese. It just is the same mistake we made in Korea. And it's only when Van Fleet corrected that mistake in Korea that we were able to develop the power there that was one of the factors that brought the power balance so that we were able to end that war. And finally, I would say on Vietnam, I think we failed to arm the American people with the truth. I think the administration, frankly, if it had laid it on the line and told us why we were there and how much it was going to cost and hadn't taken us up the hill and down the hill, uh, it might have been that this war would have had greater support than it's had. Well, that's all in the past. Now let's look right where we are right now. Negotiations are going on in Paris. Uh, I do not know how those negotiations will come out. They do not appear to be too hopeful. But there is apparently some chance, some chance, uh, that they might succeed. Now, as a potential president, and Mr. Humphrey's in exactly the same class, as a potential president, if I say, now, if these negotiations fail, I'll do this or that, that makes sure that those negotiations are going to fail. And so, consequently, I'm not going to state a position as to what I would do uh, if the negotiations fail.